now that the American people are being called upon to finance uh, some solution, the American people have every right to certain protections and assurances from Washington. First, the plan must include protections to ensure that taxpayer dollars are not used to further reward the bad behavior of irresponsible CEOs on Wall Street. Uh, there's been some talk that some CEOs may refuse to cooperate with this plan if they have to forego multi-million dollar salaries. I cannot imagine a position that's more selfish and more greedy at a time of national crisis. And I'd like to speak directly to those CEOs right now. Do not make that mistake. You are stewards not only of your companies, but of workers and communities all across the country who have put their trust in you. With the enormous rewards that you've, uh, that you've reaped come certain responsibilities, and we expect and demand that you live up to those responsibilities. Uh, this plan cannot be a welfare program for Wall Street executives. Second, the power to spend $700 billion of taxpayer money cannot be left to the discretion of one man, no matter who he is or which party he is from. I have great respect for Secretary Paulson, uh, but he cannot act alone. We should set up some sort of independent board that includes some of the most respected figures in our country, chosen by Democrats and Republicans, to provide oversight and accountability at every step of the way. I'm heartened that Secretary Paulson appeared to be softening on this position in his testimony this morning.